Hey, welcome back to the Effortless Expansion Podcast. Today's episode is recorded in True Inspired Action. I have been dealing with a lot of fear in my life. And actually, if I look back throughout my childhood, throughout growing up, I can see where that fear stemmed from. In fact, from generations in my family, we have all had a lot of fear, a lot of worry, if you will. And I know a huge part of my mission in coming here at this time is clearing this fear, is really taking it on and clearing it for my children, for my children's children, for my children's children's children, for future generations and and my lineage. And for me, when I come back and I'm, it makes it much more when I sit and I explain it to you, even in the level I just did, when I'm in something that feels where I feel really fearful, when I think about a big part of the reason I'm here is to clear this fear, it makes it more, let's see what would be the word, it makes it more manageable. It makes it more easy for me to step up and step into the fear and to see it for what it is really is fear. And so today's episode is about why I don't fear where the world is going. As I'm currently recording this episode, there are some big things going on in my life. So I'll just update you. Um, We put our dream home up for sale. It is still for sale. We've had a lot of interest in it, but we haven't had anybody um, make an offer. And so, and also our children are starting school in the next like not even really like five weeks and we don't know where they're going to be going to school. We have a couple of options depending on where we find a house. We don't have another house to move into yet. So there's a lot of going on in my life that could cause me to be fearful. And listen, I've been fearful fearful through this whole process, but I've really been digging in. And when I say digging in, I mean leaning into the fear. Why am I afraid of this? Do I think I will be taken care of? Do I think I won't be safe? Do I think there won't be a roof over my head? Do I think my children won't be taken care of? Do I think we're going to not have enough money? All these things. And what I keep coming back to is none of those are my truth. In fact, we have so much wealth. In fact, my children are so loved and taken care of. In fact, my children have two, if not three options to go to school where they'll be so loved and taken care of. In fact, we have so many incredible people who have offered us a place to stay at their house with them, without them, until we can find a place. The fact that we still get to live here in our dream home until somebody comes along that loves it just as much as we do, that writes an offer on it, is really incredible. And I'm so thrilled to be able to have the awareness to look at it with such neutrality of like, okay, and to have so much trust and faith that the universe is always going to provide for me. And I know that whatever the next step is, it's going to be so freaking good. Whatever the universe has for us is going to be so freaking good. Because how could it not? Because it's always been. And I trust it's going to be exactly like that. So as I'm currently recording this episode, there's a lot of fear going on in the world with a lot of people are talking about, you know, are we going to slide back into a recession? Are, you know, is the housing market going to crash? Is, you know, fear for getting along and war and all, all these things, politics, There's all these things in our lives, in the world that the media is talking about to scare us, to bring fear about us. But I want to invite you to this perspective. And whenever I hear something that like makes me like kind of like feel fearful for a minute, I come back to my truth and I actually remember. And actually it's this, it's, I do this. I close my eyes. I'll connect back into my heart. I place my hand on my heart and I'll just say, I'll breathe. I'll breathe in. And then I'll exhale and then I'll say, I'll think the word release, 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 release. That's something that I learned through RRT. And then I will put my hand on my chest and I will ask my guides, guides, please call all of my power back. And I'll just kind of feel my energy, which is my power coming back to me and integrating me in through my physical vessel, this physical body. And then I'll say, guides, please call my knowing back. And again, same thing. You'll probably, I can like, you know, feeling the energy. Guides, please call my truth back. And then I will come back to that fear because I've called back all my power, all my knowing and all my truth. And what is my power? It's the power that like I know I can withstand anything that's presented for me. My knowing is I know I'm going to be safe, secure, and well taken care of always. My truth is 
I'm safe. I'm secure. I'm always taking care of. The universe always has my back. When I call all that back and I go back with all of that call back, because what happens is we go out right in the world and we like leak energy everywhere. We give our power away to our children who are arguing. We give our power away to the person that cut us off on the highway. We give our truth away because we hear something that makes us fearful. We give our knowing away because somebody tells us what we know isn't actually true when what we know is actually our truth. And so when we call all that back by doing that little exercise I just showed you, you're back in here, in your body, in your power, in your knowing, in your truth, where you can then see things from a different perspective. You can see things from your truth. So when you look at something that is fearful, like let's use this example, the world here, when I call all of that back to me and I look at the world, I'm like, hmm, well, here's why I'm not afraid. Because I know at this time, my soul signed up to come and have this human experience here on earth to reincarnate, to, to incarnate here at this time. And my soul knew that all these things were going to happen for me in my life, that people were going to be talking about recession, that people were going to be talking about war, that people were going to be talking about a housing crisis, that people were going to be talking about all these other things. And that I was going to be sitting here right now at this time with my dream home up for sale, not knowing where I was going to live, not knowing where my children are going to go to, going to, go to school next, not knowing when this house is going to sell. And I signed up for that. And because I know that I'm in my knowing and I'm in my truth that this is happening for me always, not to me, but for me, I know that it's going to turn out incredibly incredible for me. And that it's going to be so magical, it's going to take my breath away. I know that. That's my truth. And that's what's available to me. And that's how I choose to see it. That's how I choose to remember it. And the same thing goes for you. Anything that's happening to you in your life and or outside in the world right now, your soul knew that all of these things, all of those things that are happening to you were going to happen to you in this lifetime. And you, your soul signed up for this. So if you're going through something, if you're fearful of something around you, know that your soul knew this was going to happen and it's part of your destiny. As much as it might not feel good, as much as it might suck, as much pain as it might cause, it's part of it for you. And when you can see things with that neutrality, like, okay, well, I signed up for this. I don't recall signing up for this when I incarnated here. I don't remember that, but I also know, and I'm so in tune with my soul that I know that like this is happening for me, period, that then you can see there's nothing to be fearful of because you knew this was going to happen. Your soul knew it was going to happen. Even if your physical body vessel, your mind can't remember and therefore, there's nothing to fear because you came here at this point and this time to live in this time period to activate the world, your magic, your mission, your purpose. And there's nobody better to do it than you. You know you, how you've heard people say the world needs what you have to offer because there's only one you. That's so much truth in that. And you're here right now to live your life, your limitless life for you to have anything and everything you want, for you to activate anything and everything you want, for your desires to be prominent, to be eminent. Right now is the best time for you to start living and believing that. And the more you can start doing that, the more the world will open up to you. The more you, there are so many forces at play here that want, that are activating us. We're, we are ascending so quickly as a planet we are going up so high in frequency, faster than we ever have. And so you're being called to rise. Well, at the same time, there's a lot of people that want to stay at the same level they're, that they're at. They want to control people. They want people to stay the same. They want people to stay in the box that they put them in. They want to instill fear. They want to leverage the control they think they have. But the more you tune that out, Turn off the TV, turn off the radio, turn off the social media channels that aren't activating you to become better, to ascend, the more you'll feel connected to yourself, the more you'll feel connected to your power, to your truth, to your knowing, the more the world opens up. And I want to activate you to come back to you and your truth and your knowing and your power because the world needs that. The world doesn't need another cookie cutter, somebody who's selling t-shirts online. The world doesn't need another cookie, cookie cutter who's spreading fear. The world doesn't need anybody but you. The world needs you to be you to be you. 
And I want to say this in conclusion. If you are somebody who is filled with fear, who is filled with anxiety, who is filled with worry, I get that. I shared at the beginning a little bit that in my family, in my mom and my grandma, there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of worry. And that was passed down to me. And I've done a lot of healing on it. And I'm still doing healing on it as it still comes up for me. But I want you to know you can choose to see it differently. And this episode is just the tip of the iceberg of choosing to, choosing it differently. Choosing to see it differently. Choosing to feel the fear, but let your love outgrow the fear. You know, I wrote something this morning and I'm just going to share it with you. And I want to get it right. I said, listen to your heart and let your love be greater than your fear. So listen to your heart. Come back to your heart. Does your heart say you should really be worried about this? Does your heart really say you should be in fear of what the news is telling you? Or is your heart like, that's not for you. Turn the TV off. Come back to your heart. Because that's where your truth lives. That's where your power lives. I want you to remember that. You have nothing to fear. You're so safe. You're so held. You're so loved. I see you. I'm here for you. I love you, and I will see you in the next episode.